Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Yeah, what a difference a day makes, huh? A temperature of 55 degrees and a dew point in the 40s. That's perfect weather, if you ask me. Perfect sleeping weather. Bob and I were sleeping. We have a clear sky out there currently and a east northeast wind coming in at about eight. It's a lovely start to the morning. Now tomorrow I think we'll see that dew point value a little bit higher back up into the 50s. And by the time we get to Sunday, wouldn't be surprised if we have dew points back in the mid 60s and we're talking fog. This is a temporary 24 hour reprieve from the higher humidity that we have had over the last several days. So enjoy it to the north of us. Temperatures are in the 40s, 41 degrees Panama City, 42 in Tallahassee, 41 in Jacksonville. And in this area, the shaded in blue, we have dew point values that are in the 20s, desert like dryness just to our north. And with winds out of the northeast, we will enjoy that kind of flow of cooler, drier air throughout the morning hours. 54 degrees Wachula, 50 in Arcadia, 53 Mayaca City, 54 in Parrish, 55 in Bradenton, yeah, 55 in Venice as well, 57 degrees in Boca, and Northport comes in at 51. Wouldn't be a bit surprised if Becky in Mayaca phones in with a temperature in the 40s. We have a northeast wind that continues to blow today, bringing down that cooler, drier air all across the sun coast. At least it blows during the morning hours out of the northeast. Now, as we head into the afternoon, wouldn't be surprised to see the twist in the wind start about, uh, I'd say, 1, 2 o'clock out of the east. And then eventually tonight, overnight tonight, we'll see those winds shift even further to the southeast. Here's why. We have a big area of low pressure, a huge blizzard. Back to the west of us, producing some very heavy snowfall totals in some of the mountainous regions. That low pressure area ejects out of the Rockies, becomes a lee side low and heads up toward the northeast, dragging this cold front along with it. In order to make allowance for that, this high pressure ridge has to move out into the Atlantic. And as it does that, our winds twist out of the south on the underbelly of that high pressure ridge. That brings up the humidity, increases our fog potential for Sunday, and also warms us back up into the 80s as we head into tomorrow, at least getting pretty close to the 80 degree mark. The frontal boundary itself not going to make it through here this time. In fact, what it'll eventually do is on Sunday stall out right over north central Florida, and that will bring us a chance of some showers Sunday and Monday until that front just basically washes away. So today, sunny, dry, nice weekend rise in humidity if you're a humidity lover. And we'll see some fog back in the forecast by Sunday. Certainly with the start of the next work week, we'll feature some fog. And I bet we have a couple of days of maybe even some dense fog to talk about. Titan radar not showing a drop of rain falling across the Florida Peninsula, deep south, back into the open plains. Everything looks quiet and good for today. Tomorrow, that low pressure area, though, will bring some snow showers to the plains. We'll watch an increase in chance for showers over on the other coast as we develop that easterly wind flow, but we stay dry on our coast. And then we'll watch for that approach of the low pressure area and frontal boundary back from the west, which should stall out over us by you no know, late in the day on Sunday and into Monday and maybe Tuesday. We'll see. Didn't put it in the forecast quite yet, but it might happen. Taking a look at temperatures, very cold indeed in the northeast, but temperatures starting to moderate just a little bit as we do too over the weekend. Under the influence of a southerly wind flow, we'll see temperatures climb back up probably into the, well, maybe the 40s and 50s in the northeast by the end of the weekend. East wind shifting southeast will bring you a moderate chop on your bay and inland waters with two foot seas and the forecast calls for today. Nice, cool, crisp weather tomorrow, humid and a little bit warmer coming in around 80 degrees lasting for several days. We'll put in a rain chance starting Sunday night, continue it into Monday and don't forget fog will probably be an issue as we head into next work week. Back to you guys.